Now, lakhs of uh, residents in Chandigarh were left without power and water supply since Monday as electricity department employees went on a three-day strike against privatization while the clueless, uh, clueless uh, UT administration remained a mute spectator. Residents of the country's first planned city were left high and dry due to the power disruption with water supply, uh, chaos and roads with traffic lights on the brink. The functioning of hospitals and dispensaries were also paralyzed and online classes have also been affected. We have uh, my colleague uh, Ghazali uh, who will get us more details on this. But before that, let's uh, just, uh, uh, we have Manish Tiwari who put out a tweet in regard uh, to the situation in uh, Chandigarh as uh, far as the residents who have been uh, battling it out without water and electricity for days now since uh, midnight of Monday. Well, uh, my colleague Ghazali joins us. Ghazali, schools, colleges, hospitals are uh, all uh, bearing the brunt of the strike. Yes, yeah, certainly. Because the UT Powerman Union comprising around 1,000 electricity employees, they have began a 72-hour strike from Monday night, protesting against the privatization of the UP electricity. Now, this strike call was intimated to the district administration or the UT administration at the the new Chandigarh city has been in uh, under dark, the traffic lights not working, and every other sector, be it the industry, health, education, uh, uh, people working from home, they're all facing the heat. Uh, the water supply has been hit. Uh, even in hospitals, in major hospitals, the surgeries had to be postponed. Uh, in some hospitals, the, the vaccine, the vaccine stock has been removed from there. So the administration is trying to negotiate with the, uh, the power department employees union. And even the High Court has taken a sua moto cognizance. The, the, first, the Chandigarh administration evoked the uh, ESMA, the Essential Services Maintenance Act, which prohibits the employees to go for uh, a strike for the next couple of six months or something. But that hasn't resolved the situation as of now, though the administration has also put out helpline numbers for water supply, for power connection. But uh, most parts of the city are still reeling under this power crisis.